Good morning. Happy Monday to you. My name is Evan Smith. I'm the pastor at Second Presbyterian Church here in downtown Stanton, and I'm coming to you today for your daily video devotional. Today, as I was going through uh, our text in 1 Peter that we've been, we've been plowing along in, I came across this one paragraph that to me may be perhaps the most important paragraph of the entire text. And so I'm actually wanting us to look at the exact same passage every single day this week because it has such such wisdom in it. And so I'm going to read the entire thing to you each day, but focus on only one verse uh, as we go through it. So listen to what uh, Peter has to write in the fourth chapter. Uh, this is verses 7 through 11. Listen out his word. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies, so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him belong the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. So the first verse of that says, the end of all things is near. Therefore, be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. So Peter's saying like, Jesus is going to come back soon. Now these, these early Christians, they, they thought soon meant actual soon, like, like to, today or tomorrow. Uh, and you know, it seems every generation has been the generation that believed that Jesus would come back within their generation. That's just always been the case. And the thing is, we don't know when Jesus is coming back. He could come back today. He could come back tomorrow. It could be in another thousand years. And that's that's the whole thing with a day being like a thousand years and a thousand years like a day in the eyes of God. That's what 2 Peter 3, 8 says, quoting in one of the Psalms. But the thing for us that I think is so interesting is this idea that he tells us to discipline ourselves because the end of time is near for the sake of our prayers. Like, like that's what's interesting. Like that because the world uh, may be coming to an end in the sense of heaven and earth being merged when Jesus come, comes back and it may happen soon, instead of a call to action, you know, and so go out and tell everybody about Jesus, Peter says that, that we need to be disciplined for the sake of our prayers. Like, what is it about our prayers that are so vital that we must be disciplined in them because the end of things is drawing near? And I've thought about it for a little bit because that caught me so much. And the thing that I've come up with and that, that jumps out at me is that prayer is the thing that empowers everything else. It's through prayer that we have our relationship with God. It's through prayer that we're able to commune with God and have God commune with us. It's through prayer that, that, that God imparts wisdom to us. It's through prayer that we're able to be hospitable and to show love and to use the words that we say to be the words of God. All of that hinges on prayer, and yet we take prayer for granted. Or, or we don't realize its, its efficacy and its power. And so my challenge to you today is to really spend some time in prayer. Spend time listening to God, thinking about God. Don't let prayer just be a list of requests, a litany of com uh, complaints or grievances either, but simply the time to be with God. Because the time is drawing near. So we're to discipline ourselves for the sake of our prayers. And that is your word for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click the like button, maybe even share it on your own page. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. And bye.